Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are doing our BoxyCharm unboxings for the month of September 2021. So September is a luxe month. So I didn't receive the base box this month, instead I get the luxe and she has her base box. So there's no sister versus sister, but we have the base, the premium and the luxe to share with you guys this month. So if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, they are a monthly makeup and beauty subscription box. Um, and then they also have the quarterly luxe. So so the base box is $25 a month and comes with five full size products. Then there's the premium, which is a monthly subscription that come, that's 35 and comes with about six full size products. And then the Lux is a quarterly base box upgrade. And when you get that, it's $50 for that month every three months each quarter essentially. Um, and you get around eight to nine products, I believe, in that box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here and sometimes my sister joins me so if you're a sub box lover like me go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family and let's jump in the boxes so first we're going to jump into my box which is the base box and go through all the items yep and that's the 25 dollars box that comes with the five full-size products the theme this month was bts um and it looks like you have variation number 33 and the back of the card not only lists the variation but also all the products inside and you do get to choose one of the products in this box Alrighty, so the first item that i'm pulling out is actually the item that i chose and that is the glam glow youth mud glow stimulating and exfoliating treatment mask which retails for 60 dollars I was so excited when I saw that they had a Glam Glow product. I know that they're really good quality. I've used their moisturizer and a, a mask in the past, so I'm excited. And I did receive this product in my PR unboxing, so if you wanna check out, I do have PR unboxings for all of these boxes from earlier in the month. I have used that mm -hmm. and I'm obsessed with it. It works really well. It does sting a little bit um, when I put it on, but the results, the way it makes my skin feel is incredible. Um, this is not like the mud mask that pulls stuff out of your pores. Okay. This is different, but it's so, 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 so good. Yeah, I know I the mask I had in the past didn't make my skin tingle, and it was a little red after, but the results were really good, so I'm just going to ignore that part of well, it. try it out, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. You know? The packaging is super big for the size of it, which is fine. I mean, it's it looks bougie, but it's... To get that in a $25 box is incredible, though. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Like it said, it retails for $60, so that kind of makes up for the box in the first place if you already wanted this. Now, since we're going to go through all of the boxes together, we're just going to switch back and forth between who takes out the products. So the next thing that she got in her box is from Half Caked, and this is the Best Friends Forever In Bloom and Duo Fiber brush set, which retails for $22 and is a BoxyCharm exclusive. All right, so I was assuming this is gonna be multiple brushes or like two brushes, but this is actually a blush and a brush. Um, so the brush is their Half Caked 813 Duo Fiber brush, so it has dual bristles. It looks weird. It does, it looks like it's a porcupine. <laughs> I know, there's like short brushes and then there's like long brushes and you can like see it's weird. It looks like a girl who did her hair extensions really <laughs> like that. <laughs> it kind of does. Um, and then you get the In Bloom blush. This is in the shade Me and You. Ooh, that's a oh. pretty color blush. I what? like pinkier blushes. That's more peachy, which is probably what would look better on me, to Do be honest. Do you want to swatch them? Sure. Um, I will say this is really soft. Anywho, back to the blush. Here's what it looks like on my finger. It's not you really can't showing see up. it at all on my hand. I put it right there. Um... I think this will be kind of a natural, give you a little bit of color to your yeah. cheeks blush, which is why I think it'll look good on you because you tend to go for more neutral natural. So this is actually probably a butter blush for you blutter. than a blood blush for you <laughs> than like a super pink one. So I think this is cute. And yeah. I love the purple. I know. I absolutely love the like color and the vibes of the packaging and the palette and just everything. I also like the concept of you receiving the product and the appropriate brush to go with it together mm -hmm. versus having to buy them separately. So I love that that's together. The next thing that I got was the... Georgette Klinger Marula, Marula Primer retails for $32, so it says all skin types, and I don't know what a Marula Primer is. It just primes your skin. I, I think Marula is the ingredient um, in it. This says that the primer blurs imperfections and ensures an all-day radiant finish. Hydrating and long wearing, it cushions skin with advanced hyaluronic acid, ensuring silky smooth makeup application that won't settle into pores, fine lines, or dry areas. Um, a nourishing blend of marula oil and vitamins A, E, F, and B locks in moisture and protects against visible signs of aging, ideal for all oil and silicone-based foundation formulas. 
So that's what it is. Um, I don't really wear many primers and when I do I'm pretty picky with my skin so this one is actually gonna go into a giveaway. Um, yeah there's gonna be a giveaway in this video. Stay tuned until the end for the details of the giveaway. The next thing that I am pulling out from her box is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Multi-Use Makeup Base Sticks which retail for $20 and are a boxy exclusive. I did receive these in my PR as well. And these are just eyeshadow sticks. I'll be honest, I did not enjoy the way they performed very much, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, so there's like a brown shade and then a neutral shade. The neutral shade did nothing for me because it is my color. This was fine, but it blended weird. So they're in the shades jazz and hip hop. If you're into shadow sticks, you might enjoy these. I'm just not a shadow stick gal. I'm not even an eyeshadow gal, like I never even really wear eyeshadow. So these will be going in a giveaway as well. Um, I, th I do think it's a cool product if you wear eyeshadow and you're into eyeshadow sticks, just I know I personally won't use it. The last item that I'm pulling out of the box is the Mana Kadar Beauty Hydration Happy Face Mist. This retails for $19. I actually already own this and I feel like you've gotten it before too, I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, so this is going in a giveaway as well. Uh, it, it's a good product. It smells good. It's just like a rose water face mist yes. or something. Perf I like these for the summer when it's like hot out. If you're at the pool, you can just spray your face and it's refreshing. So, yep, this will be going in a giveaway. I feel like we get so many, or we have been getting so many face sprays. It's died down a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know where we got this because I don't think it was BoxyCharm. So I don't think this is like BoxyCharm giving her a repeat, but we have mm -hmm. already tried this product before. Mm -hmm. So that was everything in my box. Should I give this one a rating? Yeah. Um, so the way we do ratings, and we usually only do that for the five product boxes, so we won't do this for the other two. Um, but if you like the product and we're gonna use it, we give it a point. If we're never gonna use it, not for us, zero points and a half a point. If we kinda need to learn more about the product, we're not sure if we're gonna like it, then a half a point. So how is this gonna go? I kind of already have a feeling this ain't gonna go too well. <laughs> So I'm going to give the Glam Glow a point. I am very excited about this and I think it's an awesome product for um, this box. I'm going to give the blush and brush set a half a point because I need to try it out and see if it's something that's even going to show up on my face or if I like it. And then the last three products are all going to get zero points just because obviously they're not something that I can see myself using and I don't want to waste them. So I am giving it a one and a half out of five stars. It's just not not my favorite box. Yeah, that being said, I feel like the Glam Glow makes the box still worth it. 100%. Because $25 for like a $60 product, mm -hmm. that's 50% off essentially. So like the box is still worth it. It's just like, it feels like there's, for lack of better words, a lot of junk in it. Yeah. Not it's junk. Not, it's not junk, but it's just not, it's not for her. It's not for me. And now that I've started to get so many boxes, like if I had never got boxes before and only got BoxyCharm, then I'd probably be more excited about these products because I wouldn't, you know, get a lot of face mist, get a lot of primers, but I just get so much stuff that I have to be a little bit extra picky with everything. All right, next we are going to jump into my premium box. So this is the $35 box that is a monthly subscription. It comes with about six more premium products inside and I believe you get to pick two. So the theme is the same as the base box. It is BTS and she has variation to seven, six this month. So the first item that I received is one of my choice items. And this is the Lorac Pro Loose Setting Powder, which retails for $30. And I chose mine in the shade Vanilla. Um, I love setting powders and Lorac looks really good though. I will say that Vanilla shade looks kind of dark than I was thinking, but I don't remember there being like a ton of shades to choose from. I also think I chose late, so maybe like the, Ooh. oh no, that's not bad. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. I'm yeah. jealous. Look at that. That looks so cool. Wait. I'm so jealous. I'm in need of a new setting powder and this is cute. I love, okay, yes, I love setting powders, so very excited. I think this will work for my skin. It's probably better for my skin than the translucents that I use. It's got the matte black packaging, the matte frosted plastic, it is plastic. Um, very, very excited about this, actually. So the next item that Katrina got is the Laura Mercier Balancing Foaming Cleanser. This is the box, it's super cute. It has like a design in it, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, and it does retail for $30, and I did choose, this is my other choice since you get to pick two. Ooh, Ooh is she, does it, 
Oh, it's like you can feel it. Yeah. So this um, cleanser is a foaming cleanser that gently yet effectively removes makeup, dirt, and excessive oil without stripping skin of essential moisture. So it looks super bougie. Like this would be just cute on so your, cute. On your um, vanity. Yeah, I don't remember loving the choices. This feels very full. It does. And, and it thick. feels like thick, but I guess it will be foamy once you mix it with water and rub it on your face. I don't know. I'm very happy with my choice products. All right, the next product that I received is from Tan Lux, and this is their Super Glow Hyaluronic Acid Self Tan Serum, which retails for $49. Now, I already received this in my PR boxes, and I'm not, as you can see from my skin tone, a tan person or somebody who desires to be tan, so this will go in the giveaway for the video. Um, it looks really, really cool, but I just don't want to use gradual tanner on my face. I have no desire. Rachel doesn't either. So it's probably a really nice product if you're into tanning, but I also feel like tanning is super specific, and some people are into it and some people aren't. I just happen to be someone who's not, so... Hopefully one of you guys will get to enjoy this. The next item is by Beauty Bakery. This is the Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette and retails for $38. Um, this is actually the one that Katrina ch or got with the bubble wrap on it, but you got this in what box in your- I got this, I already got this in PR. So PR. We're, we are putting this into the giveaway. Um, so we'll just show the one that I've already kind of swatched and used. So it comes with four shades. They're kind of like highlighters or a shimmer. This is kind of like a shimmery blush, a shimmery bronzer. Um, so you can do versatile things with it. It's really cute colors. I love yeah. that one. And if you're a different skin tone, so if you're a deeper skin tone, this might be a really just nice highlighter in general. But for my skin tone, that would that would definitely be a bronzer. Yeah. Wow, my brain just like <laughs> stopped for a second. So it is a really cute palette. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. This is what they look like on my finger. They feel really nice. If you want to see me try on one of the shades, um, I do try on, I think, the spoiler alert shade in my PR try on video, but that's what they look like swatched. The next thing that I received is from Complex Culture Beauty, and this is their Sonic T Bar Facial Massager, which retails for $58. Now, again, I received this in my PR box, so this will go in a giveaway, but essentially, this is what it looks like. You put batteries in it and you use it to massage your face. It, vi face. <laughs> it vibrates and you can help you know, apply your skincare products or just massage and drain your lymph nodes. So one of you guys, this is a $58 product that you guys will get to enjoy. Lastly, in this box, we have the Verb Ghost Oil. This retails for uh, $18 and it's smoothing moringa blend and weightless hair oil. So I guess it's just good to put in your hair for some moisture tips of your hair and get some some oil up in it. I know Verb is a really good brand. I've had one of their products before and I really liked it. Yeah, it says here that it revitalizes strands from root to end and it's powered by moringa oil. It hydrates and fights frizz. It's in a, And it's also proven to enhance shine by 75%. So I'm actually really excited. I don't think I've ever, ever gotten anything from Verb before or I haven't. So very, very excited to try this out. So that was everything in the premium box for September. I don't love this box. I like what I chose. Now, I think part of it is because I already got a lot of duplicates from yeah. my PR box. So I think I'm being biased in that sense. Um, but I think I'm really excited about these two products. Everything else is like fine or whatever, but I think those two are my favorite. The Verb is pretty cool as well. It's not a bad box, but it didn't blow me away. All right, last but not least, we are going to jump into my Avoxy Lux for September or for fall, since this is a quarterly upgrade. It's an upgrade of the base box. So if you choose to get this, you would not get the base box for the month. Um, and this is $50 or like $49.99 every three months. You get about eight to nine-ish products inside. And I do believe you get to pick two. I think I picked two. I can't really remember, but let's jump in. So this is the card on the inside. The theme this month is Fall Lux. And then on the back, she did get variation 439, and we counted there are eight products in this box. All right, so the first thing that I am pulling out from my Lux box is from Rare Beauty, and this is their With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm, which retails for $16. I believe that this was my choice. Um, I don't know what my second choice was. Maybe you can only pick one, because this is the only thing that I know that I picked. Um, oh. Ooh. Oh my goodness, That's look a at that packaging. It's like got a flat side to it. So it looks like a little 
thing. I don't know. Tunnel? Tunnel. I don't know. <gasps> Ooh. It's almost like a lipstick, not yeah. a lip balm. I wonder if it's just like a hydrating lip color. It's a like really pretty pink. Let's swatch this on my... Mm. I don't think I like that color. <laughs> it's very pink, like bright. Wait, why is it so gross? Like, it's nice. It feels really nice. It smells really nice, but like that's gonna look like crap on me. It might look better once you like rub it in. Did I pick this color? I guess I picked this color. Yeah, if I like, if I smooth it out, yeah, it's not, not so bad. bad. Mm. I would try it out one time. Does okay. it smell good? It smells good, yeah. Okay, well, it's in the shade Blessed. All right, I'm Hashtag a little less blessed. excited about it now that I've seen this shade itself, um, but it's still cute, so I'll definitely try it out. I, we love lip balms. I love tinted <laughs> lip balms, so it's still a cute product. I just don't know if that shade is for me. Next, we have the Iconic London Triple Threat Mascara, which retails for $26. So this is what the tube looks like. It's just like a gold metallic look. This is what the brush looks like. It's like a rubber one, and it's really, really skinny. The bristles look tiny. Like, I'm kind of yeah. concerned how this could even coat your eyelashes. Um, you said you've had... I use it in my... PR unboxing, but I don't remember how I liked it. I can't remember at okay. all. I don't, my brain just like isn't working right now, but I don't think I hated it. I don't think yeah. I loved it. I thought it was some, I think it's somewhere in between. So I'm gonna give this one to Rachel because she really wants to try it out. Um, I think I remember saying this was a good bottom lash mascara, so really cool. I'll try it out. So the next thing that I received is from Saturday Skin, and this is their Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream, which retails for $57. Um, so this is a face cream. I also received this in my PR box, so I'm gonna give put this in the giveaway. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty, kind of like holographic pearlescent packaging. It says that this is a soft and luxurious whipped cream with encapsulated probiotics activated by prebiotics for healthy and radiant looking skin. Up next, we have the Cab Cosmetics Contour Palette. This retails for $60. This is again one Katrina got in the PR and then this is the one from the box. This is what the palette looks like. So it just has a bunch of different shades. They're all matte. I'm not really sure if you could like if you can use it as a face powder or if I they're think all... You, yeah, I yeah. think you can. I did use this in my PR unboxing video. I'm mm -hmm. going to put the one that I got in this box in the giveaway, and I'm giving this one to her to try out because she's excited about it, and I already have <laughs> contours that I like. This is the Volume 1. It's very light, and I think that that's fine, but it's more of a natural type of contour palette, which isn't... I don't know. It's not so much for me. It's definitely a good palette, I will say. So you get mm -hmm. to enjoy that, and then... One of you guys will as well, but this is the volume one, so this will be the same shades. Next thing is another repeat, but this one's okay. This is a big um, Adagio Not So Mini Flat Iron, which retails for $99 and is a BoxyCharm exclusive. Now, I gave the previous flat iron to her because I knew she'd want it, but I actually kind of wanted it, so I'm actually excited to get this again. The reason why I wanted it, and I already own a flat iron, which I'm pretty sure is the one from high school. Oh so gosh. it's like not and I have many ones the reason though is that this one is a good like it's a curved one So this one would be good for curling mm -hmm. And I don't have one that would be good for that. So I'm actually pretty excited to get this So at some point I'll need to like curl my hair for a video Yeah, I haven't used it yet since I've just been putting my hair up in these buns So I haven't actually used it yet, but it feels really nice mm -hmm. and it's a hundred dollar curling iron So that's awesome or not curling iron straightener but you know what I mean. Up next, we have the new company Defense Drops. So I guess these are like a, a herbal supplement um, for immunity, natural immunity support, adaptogenic, and alcohol-free. So that is what the box looks like. And they retail for $35. I got these, but I think I'm going to hold on to these to share. Um, but they are just like an herbal supplement. Yeah, so I guess you drop them in like water or, or in your mouth or whatever. You, yeah, it's you... a little bit weird for BoxyCharm. However, I will say that for the Luxe boxes, they do are more of like a lifestyle type of thing where it is focused primarily on beauty, but there's more lifestyle products. So it does make sense that this would be something that you could receive. It's not the most exciting thing and I already like have it, but I think somebody in my family would really enjoy this. So I'll save that for them. 
The next thing that I received is from the Lifestyle Co. And this is their Bamboo Body Polish, which retails for $49. Again, another <laughs> repeat for me. If you haven't seen my other video, then this is probably totally entertaining for you. But for me, this is a repeat. It says that this polish has a sustainable bamboo stem extract to achieve gentle physical exfoliation for your self-care needs. Bamboo stem extract is derived from the interior portion of the plant and provides excellent exfoliation. Jojoba oil delivers essential fatty acids and is quickly absorbed into the skin, helping it feel softer and more nourished. You can keep it in the fridge for anti-inflammatory effects and to boost circulation. Um, I'm going to put this in a giveaway as well since I already have it and have then I don't need another one. I don't remember I mentioned the price, but this does retail for $49. Last but not least, we have the Grace and Stella Hot and Cold Bead Eye Mask, which retails for $18. Shocker, Katrina already got this in her PR box. So, um, yeah. So you get to have it because you're excited about it. I'm so excited. I love this shade pink. It just looks super cute. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is going to be like a toy to just play with. Um, this is, it has like a really soft, like fuzzy, Inside, I guess, do you put, which side do you put on your eyes? I think the fuzzy side. Yeah, you put the fuzzy side in. But it's hot and cold. So you can microwave, you can put in the cold freezer, you can, don't get your eye makeup all I, over I it. But like, how cute do I look? You look like a bug. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. And I'm just going to sit there and like. It's so fun it. to play with the little, they're like little Orbeez or I'm going to make it my goal to try to pop one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that was everything in my looks, and in fact, all three of the boxy charms this month. I was not a huge fan of boxy charm this month. There are a few star items like the glam glow, the hair straightener, like things that I really did enjoy. But I felt overall that it was kind of a boring month, and it didn't help that everything. A lot of the stuff here was a repeat for me, so that mm -hmm. wasn't super exciting. I feel like some months it's not as much of a repeat. Like it's not always that way, um, and it's only a repeat because I get PR. So it probably for mm -hmm. you guys wouldn't be a repeat. Um, what do you think? I agree, but I do think, like you said, if you didn't get the PR, I think you'd be a lot more excited about some of these products, but you already received them all, so you know if you like them or you don't like them. But I can say for my base box, I was kind of underwhelmed this month. There was only one thing out of the box that I was super duper excited for. So yeah, it, it's not the best month for me. So definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of our variations? What did you get that was different from we, what we got? We always love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. The giveaway, let's not forget about that. So the giveaway um, will be open until Saturday, October 2nd. You do have to be subscribed to my channel and live in the US or Canada in order to be eligible to win. There will be a link in the description box below that you have to enter through in order to be considered to win. Um, so you'll go in to enter that way. There's an extra entry if you go visit my Instagram page. So it will be open until October 2nd at midnight Eastern. Um, and good luck to everyone. So let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll see you in our next video.